The stars are right, and that means it's time to stream some Arkham Horror LCG. Welcome, everyone. Man from Leng here. It's been a long time since I uh, streamed some content. Decided tonight would be the night that the stars are right. We are going to be playing a little bit of... Uh, we're going to pick up the campaign that we were streaming uh, way back when. Back, I think it was August, the last time that uh, I streamed some Arkham Horror LCG. I missed everyone who tunes into the stream. Hopefully we'll be able to do it a little bit more uh, often in the future. We've got... Uh, we are continuing with the campaign that we started with Roland Banks and Joe Diamond. Brothers in Arms... They are in the uh, scenario that I probably hate the most in uh, this particular game, that being Heart of the Elders Part 1. Yeah, every time I reach uh, Heart of the Elders uh, Part 1, it's hard to continue a Forgotten Age campaign when I hit that one. It can be a real drag. I know that when we uh, did it over at... Uh, the Iron Man at uh, Arkham Knights 2019, we uh, basically decided to cheese it because uh, it uh, can be a very long scenario. We uh, we didn't have a very good run through Boundary Beyond, so we entered uh, we entered Heart of the Elders, I think, with only one or two paths, and so we uh, used the exploit where you basically uh, draw. Draw the the best hand. You 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 basically go through your deck, pick the cards you want in your hand, pick the the site you want, and uh, play it from there. I am not going to be doing that tonight. I am going to play this damn thing the way it was meant to be played. Hello, Hero Logic. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it tonight. Uh, this should be interesting. I'm going to just play this, see how uh, how I do, see if I uh, pull my hair out or not. We'll, uh, we'll find out. Roland and Joe uh, did not have a very good run uh, through Boundary Beyond. I believe we ended up with only one path. Uh, both of them ended up taking a physical trauma. And uh, hello, Masquerade, anyone. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it tonight. An impromptu uh, run through Heart of the Elders Part 1 uh, with uh, Roland Banks and Joe Diamond. Uh, they each took a physical trauma, and Roland took a mental trauma because he uh, had his uh, signature weakness out um, cover up. So we had to uh, to deal with that one. So this is uh, I had to actually go back and watch uh, Threads of Fate and Boundary Beyond. It's been so long since I played these, uh, just to figure out where we were in uh, the campaign. Before I get started, I just want to thank all the uh, patrons for who uh, make this sort of thing possible. These guys uh, go above and beyond to uh, bring you the Arkham Horror content uh, that I create. And uh, they are the ones who uh, put up the cash to help me get some new art for the channel. A couple of new pieces from uh, uh, Cole Monroe Chitty, who was uh, gracious enough to uh, draw some uh, fantastic Man from Ling art for me. Thank you very much, Cole, and uh, thank you very much for the patrons. If you'd like to become a patron and support the channel and get patron-only content, uh, make sure you head over to patreon.com, sign up for a tier of your choice, and uh, claim your rewards. That would be awesome. I had to go back, do some reconstructing to figure out uh, where we stood in the uh, grand scheme of things. And uh, it's funny how, uh, how much a deck, uh, how much the card pool has changed since uh, August uh, when we last played this. Uh, looking back at the decks, there are many, many changes I would love to make, but uh, we are halfway through a campaign, so that's uh, not going to be possible. Uh, here's the Roland Banks deck that we were playing. He earned only two VPs uh, during, uh, Har uh, during Boundary of the Beyond, sorry. So uh, I ended up picking up a copy of I've Had Worse, uh, level two. That should help him heal some of the uh, physical and mental trauma that he has suffered. Uh, besides that, we've got a 45 automatic, the Machete and Roland's 38 special for, uh, for uh, combat. We've got a copy of uh, Alejandro Vela joined us. Uh, unfortunately, Ichitaka did not, as we will see in a moment. We've got Art Student to cheat some clues. We've got Beat Cop for offense. Field work to help us with uh, skill tests if we move into a location. 
uh, Pathfinder uh, level one amazing card to help us with uh, moving around the map. We've got Charisma for an additional ally since uh, we're going to start with Alejandro in play. That will uh, be nice. And of course we have Stick to the Plan. Spent a lot of experience points on that particular uh, card. Uh, we've got I've Had Worse. We've got Calling in Favors so hopefully we can uh, do some Beat Cop shenanigans. Uh, to bounce him in and out of play. Emergency cash, logical reasoning to help us with our sanity and uh, prepared for the worst to find us a weapon and shortcut for more movement. Uh, skills, we've got Eureka to search our deck. Uh, we're not playing Mr. Rook, unfortunately. Uh, he would be uh, very helpful with that and uh, uh, astonishing uh, revelation. That would work very well in this stick to the plan build because you get to search for that astonishing right off. Uh, search your entire deck with stick to the plan uh, at, before the scenario begins and you would find a, a, a copy of astonishing revelation. So that might be worth uh, making a change uh, just swapping out a card just to get that uh, astonishing revelation in there. Uh, we've got uh, Guts, Inquiring Mind, Overpower, Vicious Blow. Our weakness is uh, Chronophobia and, of course, a uh, good old cover-up. His buddy, his uh, brother from another mother, Joe Diamond, he's got a 45 automatic machete, magnifying glass, detect his detective Colt uh, 1911s, beat cop, Dr. Mylan Christopher. He's got two copies of the death card, so he can, uh, if we uh, can grab those at the beginning of a scenario, we can uh, get that extra intellect. We've got two copies of uh, Pathfinder. We've got Charisma and Higher Education to uh, boost our skill tests. We've got Deduction. Uh, one level of Deduction 1 and one level of, uh, or sorry, one uh, Deduction 0 and one of Deduction 2 since we only earned uh, two, uh, we had three VPs, we still have one remaining. Uh, Eureka, Steadfast, Take the Initiative, Unexpected Courage, and Vicious Blow round out his skills. In his hunch deck, which I'm bound to forget at some point uh, in this uh, playthrough, we've got Evidence, Logical Reasoning, No Stone Unturned, or sorry, we've got uh, Logical Reasoning, No Stone Unturned, Preposterous Sketches, and Scene of the Crime. Uh, I am not playing Taboo uh, Hero Logic. This was, uh, I think these decks were built possibly before the Taboo list came out or or near there. Uh, so we'll see how we do here. Uh, we're already uh, deep in the trauma, so uh, we'll see uh, what happens here. Here's a summary of the campaign so far. Roland Banks has, uh, I think we've actually spent that gasoline. So he just has a torches, he has torches, a pendant, and a pickaxe. Joe Diamond has a blanket, binoculars, chalk, and a compass. The compass will help us in this particular scenario because we can use it to filter the expedition deck a little bit. Roland has suffered two physical trauma and one mental trauma. Joe has two physical trauma. I guess as far as trauma goes, that's uh, better than the uh, mental. Uh, both of them have quite a bit of health, so that's not too bad. Uh, the Harbinger of Volusia is, uh, of course, still alive. He has two damage on him. There is uh, There are six uh, ticks under Yig's Fury. The investigators cleared a path to the Etsley Ruins. Alejandro followed the investigators there. Ichitaka is wary of us. We did recover the Relic of Ages and gave it custody of it to Alejandro. Uh, we have earned his trust, but uh, when Ichitaka came knocking at her door, she left without us. Uh, unfortunately, we did not recover the Relic during Threads of Fate. The investigators rescued Alejandro. Ichitaka is in the dark, and one path is known to us, so we will have to find five... Uh, Five paths in the uh, before we finish this scenario. So it's a matter of how long this will take us. That is the big question here. Hello, everyone. Glad you could join me today for this uh, impromptu stream. We are set up and uh, ready to go uh, in Octagon here. I uh, need to put uh, you have some physical trauma that we uh, need to put on there. So we are set up and uh, ready to go. We've got, uh, we are here at the mouth of Kinyan, the cavern's maw. 
It has the uh, action we can resign, which we'll probably be doing a lot of. And uh, we can, hi Amelia, welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it tonight. Uh, we will, uh, so we will be resigning a lot probably. We can check our supplies if you've got a compass. We can look at the top three cards of the exploration deck. Place one on the top and I believe it is it place one on the top or two on the top? Place one on the bottom and two on the top in any order. So we have some way of uh, filtering the uh, filtering the explor exploration deck a little bit. Uh, of course, we do need to find one of the. We shuffled those three ancient locations into the deck. We need to find one of them before, uh, or we shuffled one of them into the exploration deck. We need to find that location before we can do anything at all. So uh, it's just a matter of how often we are going to be, uh, how many times we're going to have to reset this thing. So hopefully we can get this done in a couple of playthroughs. Um, otherwise we may just uh, end up, if it goes too long, we may just uh, uh, end up uh, calling it a day. Yeah, exploration is going to be vital. We need to find that location and... Uh, and uh, go from there. So we do have a we do have the compass though, so we can look at the top three cards and do some filtering. That will help us out an awful lot, I hope. We are ready to draw our opening hands. So we will go with uh, Roland first. Uh, we'll shuffle up his deck so he gets an overpower, a machete, a pathfinder, another copy of pathfinder and a Eureka. Uh, we'll put the one Pathfinder, the Eureka, and uh, the Overpower. So we're keeping the Machete and the Pathfinder. We get an Art Student, a Fieldwork, and a Guts. Not a bad hand. We'll shuffle those up. And our friend uh, Joe Gets a deduction two, a steadfast, a beat comp, 45 automatic, and an inquiring mind. I don't like this hand at all. Uh, the beat cop might be okay, but I'm going to toss the whole thing. There's a magnifying glass, deduction zero, Dr. Mylan Christopher, a beat cop, and an inquiring mind. So we got two, two similar cards. But we did get Dr. Mylan Christopher and a magnifying glass, so that's uh, that's awfully nice. Uh, so we will be able to, uh, hopefully, once we get some clues on the table, we'll be able to grab those quickly. Uh, Dr. Mylan Christopher, of course, is going to generate us the resources we need to power up our uh, our higher education, and we need to keep five cards in our hand to do that. So we're going to need to. Uh, to work on that. So I think we're ready to go here. I think uh, we're going to start with Joe because Joe's got the compass and he can do some filtering. So uh, I think first we will play the magnifying glass since it is free. Well, it's free action anyway. So we can uh, do a little bit better investigating. We want to get Dr. Mylan Christopher out there as well. So we'll drop him for four. So we're set up to do some investigating. Got lots of uh, lots of intellect. Intellect's up to five. Now we want to do some filtering of the exploration deck. So we can use the compass to look at the top three cards of the exploration deck. Place one on the bottom and uh, the other two on the top in any order. So we will look, uh, we will go one, two, three. Okay, so we end up with two treacheries and one. So the low on supplies, uh, the ants, 
I think the ants has to go on the bottom. Now, can I put this on the bottom of the deck? That's the question. Let's see. There are eight cards. Uh, move, 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 move to bottom. No, it wants to move it to... Uh, wants to... Now, where did it put it? Okay, that's a good question. Where did it hide my... It hid it somewhere. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Not too sure where it went. Note to self, don't do that again. Alright, well... So we're going to put the low on supplies and the path of thorns on top. So if we draw the ants again, we'll just put them back on the bottom. Um, don't need either of those. Maybe it did go on the bottom. Uh, we'll see. All right, so that was one action. Let's do it again. So we get, we knew we were going to get the Path of Thorns and that. Let's see what this is. There is, hey, look at that. So that goes on top. The Temple of the Fang goes on top, followed by the Path of Thorns, and the Low on Provisions goes on the bottom. So let me see if I can... Okay, we're just going to put that aside. That is the bottom of the deck. That is on the top, and this is on the top. Okay, so we found, we have found our location that we need. So, that is nice, very nice. Okay, so Roland is going to go, we'll play the machete, and then, We'll wait on the Pathfinder. Let's explore. So we find the temple that we need. Uh, and we move to it. I believe that's the rules still. Put it into play and move to it. So there is one clue there. Temple of the Fang, of course, being a two-shroud location with one clue. Temple of the Fang gets plus one shroud for each vengeance point in the victory display. There are no vengeance points in the victory display right now. So it's just a one. So we need to grab clues and then stack them on the mouth. But we can't do that until we advance to... Once we advance to agenda, our sorry, Act 2A, I believe, is when we can start doing that. So if we can get a couple clues uh, and stack them on this. Now, do we need multiple clues per investigator? That's the good question. I just want to check that. I need to see if we need X clues per investigator to... Uh, I haven't played this yet. Yeah, is investigators at the mouth may spend one clue per investigator as a group to solve a piece of the puzzle. Okay, so we're gonna need. So there should be two clues there. Shows how often I play uh, a multiplayer here or two-handed. Uh, we've got one action left. We might as well try to grab a clue. Uh, we've got three versus uh, two. Uh, or we could just play the art student to grab a clue. Uh, it's not a very high shroud location. Let's just try to grab a clue the old-fashioned way. We'll go uh, three versus two. Chaos bag gives us a minus five. There's that good old minus five from the uh, Forgotten Age uh, that... Uh, plagues everybody in the Forgotten Age cycle. Okay, so that's that. 
So that was the investigation phase. There are no enemies to worry about. We draw our uh, during upkeep. And I already forgot his uh, ability once. Gee whiz. So we need to go back here for a second. I need to grab this. It's not his uh, thing, so that's good. Wasn't Joe's weakness. That would have been bad. So... All right, so so uh, Roland, he drew his weakness, chronophobia. So we will have to deal with that. Uh, so we have to take two actions to get rid of it. At the end of your turn, take one direct horror. No fun there. And Joe drew take the initiative so we do have a way of boosting our skills if necessary during the next skill test. We add a doom and go to our first mythos phase. Uh, so I think we'll make Roland first player as he has been throughout this. So he draws overgrowth. Overgrowth gets attached. So we uh, will have to, we cannot explore the attached location any longer. Uh, we need to test, uh, we will need to test for combat to hack through the brush or for intellect to find another route. Uh, so that was his card. Let's see what Joe draws. Joe, he draws a pitfall. He must either choose Test three agility to attempt to jump the gap. For each point you fail by, take a damage. Shuffle pitfall into the exploration deck. Now, um, we can take the initiative that. I think we will do that. I don't want to shuffle it into the exploration deck. So let's play take the initiative. And we will add three wild icons. So we are at five versus three. Chaos Bag gives us a Skull. That is going to be a minus three because we're at a cave. So we fail by one, so we take one damage, I believe. We failed by one, so we take a damage. All right. Control of the discard pile so I can discard that. All right, and that is the first turn. I need a good beverage in order to play uh, this particular scenario. I hope everyone uh, out there had a, a great holiday season. Everybody received lots of uh, Arkham Horror LCG cards. Hi, Eric. Glad you could make it. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the well wishes. We will uh, do our best. Hope everybody received lots of uh, Arkham Horror LCG cards. Got uh, lots of stuff. Uh, we've got Dark Side of the Moon comes out next week. Uh, if you haven't already done so, uh, you can also catch my playthrough I posted tonight of. Uh, Beyond the Gates of Sleep, the first scenario from the Dream Eater cycle. So that's uh, up on the channel now. And if you are a patron of the channel, there is a uh, Patreon postgame show that you can check out as well. So let's continue. Turn two, uh, we need to break this uh, overgrowth and we need to get some clues. So let's give everybody... Let's give everybody their actions. Now I can rig the, I can take an action to rig the encounter deck one more time, as long as I stay there. Um, so let's do that. So we need to grab, now we need to, let's, uh, let's do this right. So our hunch today is scene of the crime that's not going to be very helpful this turn. Yeah, John, the city boys in the jungle. There's uh, 
there are few too many snakes in the jungle for uh, these guys. Uh, they ended up uh, poisoned. Both of them ended up being poisoned uh, last game in Boundary Beyond. So I fear they will both end up being poisoned here as well. And uh, I'm all out of medicine, so the uh, the uh, physical trauma is going to rack up. Let's uh, let's try to rig this uh, this uh, exploration deck a little bit more. There's the Path of Thorns, which we knew about. Uh, there's the River Canyon. Okay, so we've got two, and this will go on the bottom of the deck. So we've got two weaknesses, or two treacheries on the bottom of the deck. Good stuff. So we can put these on. Now, do we want to go to the... Can we get there? No, we can't. So this one has to go on top, and then this one. And that way we can get to both of them. Yeah, we're going to push through the jungle. So Joe, or Joe's going to go there. Let's do some investigating. Uh, we've got a uh, plus one and plus two, so we are at six intellect versus two. Uh, so we will see if we can't grab a clue. Chaos bag gives us a minus three, so six versus two, that works for me. Uh, so we do grab one clue. I could have played the deduction on that. I probably should have, but that's okay. And we will gain a resource thanks to Dr. Mylan Christopher. No, I don't want the snakes. Uh, we're going to try to grab as many clues as we can, and uh, it will probably take us a couple of trips through this jungle to get this done, but uh, we'll see how long it takes. So we need to break this. We are a four versus four, or a three versus four. So not good either way. Um, he has no actions remaining. Roland. So I think we'll get Yeah, this is one of the scenarios, Eric, that I'm hoping that they will fix in uh, when they release Return to the Forgotten Age. Probably this year, probably uh, summer, I'd expect, maybe, before the next cycle. Or not, bef probably not before the next cycle, but uh, somewhere in the middle there. Uh, this one could definitely use a few tweaks, I think, but uh, who knows? We'll see. I, I have faith that... Uh, Matt Newman knows what he's doing, so uh, uh, I'm sure there'll be more snakes. So we've got a four. I guess we just have to hack through the brush. Four versus four. Uh, four versus four. Uh, yeah, we've... Um, I think I'm going to take an action first to get my Pathfinder out. And then we'll try to break the, the bush through the overgrowth here. It's too bad Machete doesn't give you some sort of benefit for uh, for cracking this overgrowth. So four versus four. Chaos Bag gives us a minus three. And the Chaos Bag... Do we have anything we can throw? Uh, commit to a skill test if there is a clue. So we can... Yeah... Uh, Joe is going to commit the Inquiring Mind, so we will go 7 versus 4. Chaos Bag gives us a minus 1. Alright, so we get rid of the Overgrowth. So that's gone. And that will be our turn. No enemies. Uh, Joe, he draws his copy of Pathfinder. And Roland draws Eureka. All right. 
So we've got we've got to grab one clue, and then we can get to the Path of Thorns, and we have the ca the uh, River Canyon lined up as well. Uh, but we've got to spend four clues in order to advance the act. Mythos phase. Roland is up first. Roland draws a pit viper. Oh, and I took a horror because I forgot about my stupid chronophobia. Serves me right. Okay. Uh, a direct horror, no less. Okay, I'll have to remember that. And Joe draws a snake bite. Mm, that's not good either. Test three. And if we fail, we're poisoned. Or I guess we could kill... Uh, we could kill Dr. Mylan. Uh, which is probably what we'll do, because that's better than being poisoned by a long shot. So we're going two versus three. Um, don't have anything... Well, we can commit that Pathfinder, but... I think we're just going to fail this one. Uh, we draw a minus one, so yeah, Dr. Mylan will uh, unfortunately bite it due to the uh, due to the snake bite. All right. So we're on turn three. We are on turn three. Now we have this snake to deal with and we have the chronophobia to deal with. So Roland will go first, I think. Because we want to get rid of the chronophobia. So we will attack the snake. We are going five versus three to deal one damage or two damage. We get a an elder thing. That's a minus three, and if you fail, you take a horror. Man, oh man, give me a break. All right, so the snake, we fail to kill the snake. So we're going to take another horror due to chronophobia. Because we can't kill the snake this turn, unless we kill it this one. So we're going again, five versus three, Chaos Bag says, oh, come on! <laughs> oh, dear me. So we draw another Elder Thing and we fail and take a horror. Um, I'm going to take two horror this turn. So I guess that means Alejandro is gone. Can I kill this snake this turn? That's a good question. Let's try again. Okay, three elder things in a row is, uh, that's just bad luck. Okay, so I take a horror, and then I take another horror, and then... I take a damage and I'm poisoned. Well, this just sucks. That's terrible. That's... Okay, well that was a, a absolutely rotten turn. Three Elder Things in a row. Three Horror in a row. Then I take another Horror and a damage and I get poisoned. Are we resetting already? Three Elder Things, John. That's right. Yep. Okay, so... Uh, let's see how... Uh, All right, so we're using Scene of the Crime. Actually, we can actually use Scene of the Crime. There is an enemy at our location, so we can play that as our first action 
to discover this clue. So that's good. We get to play it for free due to Joe's minus two uh, cost. So is our goal here now just to try to advance the agenda? Or sorry, advance the act, get that uh, the flying the flying dragon thing out, flying serpent. We resign, we reset, then we we try to gather enough clues in order to uh, just to uh, to do this. We may have to do this the slow and steady way here. Um. Hmm. Well, we can get away from that. We can resign next turn with uh, Joe, with Roland. Tony Morgan. Yeah, I've I've played a Tony Morgan deck. I played a Tony Morgan deck at Arkham Knights, and uh, it was okay. I played him using the uh, he was a guardian, but he just seemed like a bad guardian. Maybe I'm not playing him right, but he seemed uh, like a weaker guardian in his guardian setup in multiplayer, but he did okay. I mean, he killed lots of stuff, and I guess that's all you need a guardian to do in multiplayer. But I felt like I could be killing more stuff easier. Uh, we've got two actions. Let's, uh, let's use Joe to, uh, let's use Joe to go explore. Because we may just need to, uh, to get rid of Roland. Roland may just have to resign here, and we'll go with, uh, yeah, he does have a lot of great rogue cards for, for enemy management and whatnot. So we move to the Path of Thorns, three shroud location with two clues. Um, so after we fail a skill test here, we're going to take damage. After we fail exploring here, we're going to take damage. Um, the River Canyon's a four shroud location. Maybe I go there and work my way back. Because I know I've got another location here. I think I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to explore again. Uh, because I know I've got the card. I know I've got the River Canyon lined up. Yeah, I, I think uh, I played this once with my... Uh, Eric, I played this deck, I played this scenario with my Leo Anderson deck and I ended up playing it like six times before I actually got frustrated and put in uh, a bunch of stuff. Oh, maybe I forgot to add stuff. Did I forget to add stuff? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Okay, good. All right, so we move to the River Canyon. It has two clues, and we've got... Uh, uh, and we can heal damage here. Uh, we don't have the canteen, though. Okay, well, that was... Uh, we've got two clues, and so we could actually get a path this game. We could get a path. If we grab these four clues, we flip the agenda, or sorry, we flip the act, then we move here to the mouth, we get our two, so we get one, and then we can basically just churn them for the next one. Okay, let's see how things go. Uh, <clears throat> Joe draws a steadfast. And Roland draws a beat cop. Why does he have regular beat cop? He should have beat cop too. All right. Knew I made a mistake when I fixed these decks. 
Let's fix that now. You should have beat cop two, not beat cop one. Because that would make no sense. Yeah, low agility parties into snake ridden jungles. That's that's definitely the uh, the case. Okay. It is the mythos phase. It's turn four. Uh, Roland will draw. Oh, there's the apex strangleweed. That's mean. So the apex strangleweed, three fight, six health, three evade, creature flora alert and retaliate. Uh, after Apex Strangleweed makes an attack of opportunity against you, check your supplies. If you do not have a pocket knife, lose all remaining actions and end your turn. How are we going to get past that? Uh, I know how we're going to get past that. Yeah, I pl I've played Ursula through this campaign twice, and and she does very well. I mean, high investigate, high intellect, or high intellect, high agility. You can't complain about that. Uh, we've got Joe. Joe gets another pitfall. Uh, so we're going three three. Actually, I don't mind this because. I'm going to shuffle Pitfall into the deck because I don't plan on investigating any further. So these cards go back in because they're technically at the bottom. All right. So we had to shuffle a nasty treachery in there, but that's fine. Um, we will... So I think what Joe, what Roland is going to do... I've got a shortcut, I'll play it, move to the mouth, and resign there. Dumping these two nasty creatures there. And that way, uh, Joe can just do his thing, and he can get back here. Now I hope that doesn't trigger attacks of opportunity. Just let me check if it does. Investigators at the mouth spend one clue per investigator as a group. You solve one of the pieces of the puzzle, add one resource to the mouth. So it does trigger attacks of opportunity. Hmm. And the apex strangleweed will hurt us when he makes an attack of opportunity. So dropping it there is probably not a good idea. I just don't think Joe can... Uh, what do we have? What do we have? We've got a Pathfinder. We've got... Yeah, not enough agility icons. Certainly not enough there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I could kill the weed, but the weed will probably kill me. That's what I'm worried about, since it has retaliate. And my machete is woefully in a woefully useless against it. One, two, three, two, three. I don't know. Roland's got to resign or he'll be defeated. I think maybe I just have to reset. I don't think it's going to work out in our favor here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go 
The Winged Serpent isn't out yet. I need to advance the act deck before that happens. Um, one, two, three. So Joe runs back. Uh, yeah, Joe runs back. I play... Roland plays shortcut to slip back to the mouth, and then he resigns. So the snake... Ah, shoot. Both, everybody gets poisoned, but uh, I guess we'll... So Roland is out. Joe will take two damage and a horror. And he gets poisoned. Uh, which reminds me, I need to look at... No, wrong card. Need to look to see what his card is. Okay, it was a scene of the crime. Uh, that would have just grabbed me a clue, which won't help me. Uh, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, we take the damage, we get poisoned. I feel like I'm playing on hard mode. With two low agility investigators in this uh, campaign. All right, so he gets poisoned. As long as he survives this uh, this this phase, uh, this mythos phase, he'll be fine. So he draws a deduction. Encounter card is a lost in the wilds. Uh, Test three willpower. We are willpower two. Oh, geez. Uh, we can't move or explore. That's fine. Don't much care about that at this point. Minus five. So we take. Uh, we take three horror. Oh, we darn near die to that too. So we take three horror and then we resign. So. Well, that was a bit of a disaster. Uh, so Roland and Joe end up poisoned and we have to reset. So let's do that. All right. And why do I hate this scenario so much? Man, oh man. Never like this scenario. I think the first time I played it, it went all right, and then from there on out, it's just been agony. All right. Roland is back. the shortcut again this uh, I have Excelsior set up and ready to go I believe uh, Robert Bout one of the patrons of the channel and I are going to be playing that in the next couple weeks uh, I may play it before then so Excelsior is definitely coming uh, soon I uh, had a chance to play it at uh, Beneath the Waves in Portland uh, with the other members of the Great Old Ones Gaming Podcast, and it was a great deal of fun. Uh, very uh, horror damage and horror demanding for sure, but, uh, but a very fun scenario uh, nonetheless. get everything set up. We'll see how many times we can do this in one uh, one stream. 
Yeah, I did. Uh, I did. I haven't played Excelsior since since Portland, but uh, I am looking forward to playing it again. I'm also looking forward to playing uh, Before the Black Throne again. I haven't played that one again since uh, since I streamed it or since I played it way back when. So you go away, Mr. Harbinger. I think we're ready to go again here. So we've got our so the only thing we need to do to set up the deck is grab one of these uh, we will Barkham Horror I think it's cute I'm glad they did it I, I mean it's um but I don't know how much I'll actually play it, Aegeus. And uh, welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I mean, I'll buy it. It's, it's Arkham Horror by, by another name. Uh, yeah, I did wake Azathoth, uh, Amelia. I, uh, I made a few errors near the end. I thought I had a, I thought the game was a lot closer than it was, and it turned out uh, actually not being that close because uh, Azathoth woke up long before I thought he did. But uh, I quite—I uh, actually quite like the scenario. I'm not too sure whether I could beat it in solo or not. There's—it seems very. Uh, seems like there's a lot, go a lot of ways that it could go sideways on you, and you just wouldn't be able to find the right path through it. But if you got lucky, you could probably, you could find the uh, the right uh, locations that you needed. So we've got our location, we've got our guys, we need some trauma. And we'll be ready to go. Alright. Um, let's draw hands. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to playing the Barkham Horror Investigators, you know, just in regular campaigns. That's going to be fun. Or playing regular investigators through the Barkham Horror Campaign. I think that would be fun too. And I'm, I know, you know, Matt's a, a great designer. I'm sure it will be a, a very fun, uh, a very fun experience for for everyone. I still have the stupid beat cops wrong. I need to fix that because they should be beat cop twos, not ones. Okay, so we drew a beat cop two. Uh, we got a machete, which isn't really helping us a whole lot. A shortcut. Uh, I'm going to keep the shortcut and pitch these other two. Pathfinder and guts. So basically the same hand as we had last time. And <clears throat> take the initiative, inquiring mind, deduction, B cop, take the initiative. Wow. Joe is just getting terrible hands. Hi, Ramon. Glad you could make it to the stream today. Little impromptu game of Heart of the Elders Part 1. We are on take two of God knows how many. Before we uh, we ran into some enemy trouble in our first game, uh, Roland drew three elder things in one turn, taking three horror, and then uh, taking another horror. So uh, yeah, that was uh, that was rough. Very very rough. But we are ready for attempt number two. So. Uh, Joe still has the compass, so we can. Uh, we, I, I'm not sure whether we get to start with Alejandro and play or not. Uh, the second time around. Uh, I'm never quite clear on what you get to do again or what you get to. But I will. I'm going to start with him. We need all the help we can get to get through this stupid thing, so if I'm cheating, so be it. All right, so we've got the compass, so we can uh, 
Let's play Dr. Mylan Christopher again. Hi, Juicy. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. We are playing a little bit of uh, Heart of the Elders Part 1 and uh, not doing a very good job of it, unfortunately. Uh, so we play Dr. Mylan Christopher as our first action. Second action, let's go rig this deck. So top three, there's a river canyon, the path of thorns, and the serpent's haven. Wow, three locations. Um, I'm going to put the river canyon on the bottom. The other two on the top. And then I'm going to do it again. River Canyon, Serpent's Haven, and... Ah! We found it! Again! Awesome. Uh, we got to put one on the bottom. What's it connected to? Oh, good. Okay, so... Path of Thorns goes on the bottom. Serpent's Haven is there, and that is there. Okay, so we found our location again. Yeah, the Dream Eaters, they, they love their cats in uh, the Cats of Ulthar in the Dreamlands. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, my guys are poisoned too. I need to go get the poison stuff. Alright. Stupid poison. I should have just relied on them being poisoned the whole time, but... Uh... Alright. So we found what we were looking for. Now it is up to... I'm going to play the beat, uh, beat cop first. We'll play that... Uh... Uh, we're going to play our emergency cash from under stick to the plan to gain three resources. Uh, we're going to use three... Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's okay to take a setup turn here. Uh, play the machete. So now we're fighting a little bit better than we were before. And... That will be our turn. Upkeep. Uh, Roland draws an overpower. I forgot to draw his bloody thing again. Let's just make sure it wasn't his... Uh, his uh, oops, got the wrong deck. Uh, I need to... Fix his hunch deck. Those should not be in there. And those should be in the draw deck. And that's good there. So we'll shuffle this up. And we did not get his weakness. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. So uh, Joe drew a vicious blow. Roland drew his overpower. So we're good for enemies. Let's see how we do during our first mythos phase, shall we? No strangle weeds, please. Roland draws the basilisk. Nearest to the mouth of Kenyan. Well, how about on the mouth of Kenyan? Basilisk is a hunter. After a pillar token is placed on the mouth, shuffle one copy of basilisk into the encounter deck. Max once per round. Is the basilisk even supposed to be in the deck, or am I just playing this wrong? Um, no, he's probably still in there. Joe, he gets the... Oh, Jesus. So we get jumped right out of the gate. We haven't even left the mouth of the mouth of the cavern. And the snakes are like, screw that. We're not waiting for you to come into the jungle. We're just going to beat you up right here. 
So we draw the boa constrictor and the basilisk. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I figured. He uh, he would come out of vengeance and back into play. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to put him into vengeance. Man, two enemies right off the freaking start here. Um, well, Roland's gonna earn his money here. Um, we've got a vicious blow and an overpower, so we are. Uh, four, five, six. Six versus four. Uh, Joe will commit the vicious blow to go seven versus four for three damage. What's the chaos bag say about this? <laughs> That's the fourth elder thing in a row, but seven versus four will be enough. Uh, so we hit it for three damage. Hi, Christopher. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Uh, so we hit this basilisk for three damage. I think if it, it probably triggers if he's in the if he's in the discard pile. Or yeah, if he's in play. That's okay, Christopher. I'm just glad you could make it for a little while. It's always nice to, to meet the, uh, the people who play this game. Uh, so we can beat cop this guy now. Oh, okay, I see. So he gets, anyway, he's dead. I just killed this guy, so he's gone. All right, so we've got a couple of, uh, yeah, I just, all I, there's, a, there's only, there's only elder things in the bag. That's the secret to winning this game, is you just play with elder things in the bag the whole time, and, uh, So that was one action. We managed to, managed to kill that guy. So we can engage the boa as our second action. And then we can attack the boa. Uh, we are six versus four. Chaos Bag says Elder Thing? No, zero. So we deal two damage to the boa. Uh, during your exhausted cards cannot ready. Okay, so we won't be able to ready our beat cop next turn. That's okay. So we engaged and we attacked. All right. Joe's turn. Joe is gonna draw. He's got a work. He's got a working a hunch as his hunch. No, Agius. They mean elder thing, because that's all I've drawn this game. That's like four of them this game. That's all I draw is elder things. So we do find the location we need. Joe finds the stone altar. After you enter stone altar, reveal a random chaos token from the chaos bag. If you reveal special tokens, lose an action if you cannot take a horror instead. Okay. Chaos bag says skull, so I think we take a horror, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we do. We uh, lose an action. Okay, sure, we'll do that instead. Clues. Uh, we've got a double deduction. Let's do that. We'll commit that. Uh, so Mylan gives us a five, six, seven versus three. 
Seven versus three, Chaos Bag gives us a zero. Hey, we're out of the Elder Things. We're not drawing Elder Things anymore. Awesome. And because we played Deduction, we get two clues. So we clear this location in one shot. Uh, we did that, we lost an action, and that was that. Okay. We go to the enemy phase. where we take a damage and a horror. Uh, I'm gonna take the damage. And my beat cop won't ready next turn. And that's it. We go to upkeep. Um, Roland draws an overpower, and Joe draws, draws an inquiring mind. That's not going to be all that helpful. Mythos phase two of five. Let's see. Roland draws the poisonous spores. Attached to your location at the end of the round, each investigator at the attached location who is poisoned takes two horror. Each investigator at the attached location who is not poisoned is poisoned. Okay, so there's poison. Poison at the mouth. Uh, Joe draws ants. They're ants. Test for agility for each point you fail by. Discard a random card from your hand or choose and discard a card from your play area for each point you fail by. Wow, okay. That could be, uh, that could wreck us. All right, um, we can't even use that. Three versus four, is that better than four versus two? Slightly. Uh, hi, Pedro, welcome to the stream. I am playing Heart of the Elders part one with Roland Banks and Joe Diamond, and they are uh, struggling, to say the least. Uh, this is our second attempt after we reset. We're hoping to at least get through to Act, act uh, 2 so we can start uh, getting some paths set up here. Uh, we're going to go 3 versus 2, or th 4 versus 3. Chaos Bag says minus 2, so we end up at 4 versus 1. So we have to discard three cards from our hand or our... Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, Eric. Part one, day two. So we discard our hand, thanks to the ants. So we're probably going to lose that Eureka anyway, so... No harm, no foul. All right. Uh, Juicy, we need five pillars. So this could take a while. Uh, I'm just going to play for a while. I'm not sure we'll actually get the five pillars tonight. We'll see what happens. Uh, we had a bad run through uh, Boundary Beyond way back in August. So we, we need five pillars, and we haven't even gotten to the point where we can start getting the pillars. So, all right. Roll and kill his boa. Six versus four. Get some actions here because we need to get out of this uh, this mess. First action six versus four. Do I have anything to commit? I want to kill this thing for sure because I need to get out of here this turn, or I'm going to take damage and ho or horror because of the spores. We're going to go eight four. Chaos bag gives us a zero. Do get to draw a card though. There's a calling in favors. That's nice. We can abuse the beat cop. So this guy goes to the victory display. All right, Joe moves. 
or sorry, Roland moves, and Roland will explore. Uh, I believe we set up one more card on here, the Serpents. Ooh, he's poisoned too, that's bad. You take a damage. After you investigate or explore while at Serpent's Haven, if you are poisoned, take one damage. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's Joe's turn. Joe needs to... Well, Joe has no hand. That's bad. That's bad because he's got higher education. Uh, let's see what his uh, hunch is. It is his weakness. Uh, place one of your clues on the location with the highest shroud. Uh, that would be the... Oh, that goes in my hand. Uh, I can play that, though, can't I? For two? Oh, no, it's here. It's my hunch. So I can play it for two. Place one of my clues on the location with the highest shroud. Remove this from the game. All right. So we need to get this clue back, and then we need to... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Because everything just resets. So, yeah, why bother? You're right. Let's just, uh, we're not going to finish it this, this turn anyway. So let's keep moving. Uh, Joe will move. Now Joe's going to take a damage every time he investigates here. And we've got four clues to get. Uh, but we could actually grab two and get a pillar this turn. Uh, we could get a pillar this one. <laughs> okay, so we need... We don't have any grabby grabs. We used our deduction on that. That would have been better to save it for the Serpent's Haven. Uh, so we're going to go five versus two. Chaos Bag says minus one, so we gain a resource. And we grab a clue, and we take a damage. Um, can we take three more damage? Yes, we can. Two, we'll do one more. Six versus two, or five versus two, Chaos Bay gives us an auto fail. Uh, so we still take a damage because of that. Oh, gee whiz. This is awful. Hate this scenario. Okay. Uh, we're going to need some, some soak here somewhere. Yeah, I'm not on the second act yet, Christopher. This is, we're still just trying to get past the first act. I'm hoping to do it this one. Uh, we get a vicious blow and an art student. Hey, the art student's good because we can discover a clue without investigating. So that's good. Uh, this guy gets to ready this turn. And... I can't get pillars yet, but if I get these three clues, I could go back and get a pillar. And then uh, I can bring out the snake, get a pillar, and then I can get more pillars, I think, easier once I flip the act. Uh, so at the end of the round, we get rid of the poisonous spores. Uh, this guy should be ready. And so we're good to go. All right, all right, Roland, what is your card? So this, 
So we earn two fewer experience points. This, uh, yeah, so this goes into our thread area and we're not gonna earn experience points, but that's fine. Roland's card is low on supplies, lose two resources, take a damage, or discard an asset. We'll lose two resources. That's okay. Joe's card is Snake Bite. All right, deal five damage, uh, three agility, or we're dealing damage to people. I have no cards. Um, he could pitch a Pathfinder, but that's not gonna get us very far. That gets us to three, three, or we just lose Mylan. I think we just lose Mylan. Get a minus two, we lose Mylan. Ah, oh, the snakes. The snakes! Alright, but we did get through that. Now we can... Uh, uh, I kind of want the art student, because that gets me a clue. Then I can use Roland to grab a couple clues. Well, maybe. Because he's going to take a ton of damage here. Uh, we only have eight. That would put us at seven. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw another card. There's an inquiring mind. That helps. Um, I think Joe's just going to draw cards because we're looking for an ally. There's an ally. That'll do. Uh, we just need somebody to soak some damage for us. Uh, Roland. Uh, we need to check what his card was again. Maybe it would be good. I always forget the hunches. Let's see, it was a logical reasoning. We can uh, heal to horror. Or discard a terror card, that's fine. We weren't gonna play that. Okay, Roland, you are going to investigate. Sort of feel like the... We're gonna play the art student. We're going to replace Alejandro because we want the clue more than we want Alejandro. Okay, so we've got we've got four clues, so we can advance. We get these two more clues, and we advance to Act Two, and we can get a pillar. Um. So we're going to go three versus two. Uh, do we have any? Yes, he can commit the Inquiring Mind. Uh, so we'll go six versus two. Chaos Bag says plus one. So we grab a clue. And we take a damage. Let's do it one more time. Uh, three versus two. We have no tricks we can do there. Uh, three versus two. Auto fail. Okay, so we take a damage. Uh, the art student does her job. Ah, no, we've got plenty of soak. Yeah, we can take it. All right. One clue and we can get ourselves a pillar. No enemies. We get a Pathfinder for Roland and a Pathfinder for Joe. We advance to the next. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down there. Okay. So, four of five. Uh, 
Roland's card is ants. More ants. Four. We're going to lose our hand. Uh, four versus two. Uh, we might as well pitch some of these. Since we're going to lose our hand anyway. Uh, two, three, four, five. Five versus four. How is that? We get a zero. Hey, we beat the ants. We only had to trash our hand to do it. But we did beat the ants this time. Joe gets the strangleweed. Okay. So, we need to kill the strangleweed. And we need to grab this clue. We need to kill the strangleweed or evade the strangleweed. That's not going to happen. Uh, so, I think we'll let Joe go first. Because if we've got, what do we have in his hunch deck? We've got Scene of the Crimes and Working of Hunches, both which would let us grab a card without dealing with his keep of drawing from the wrong bloody deck. Put that away over here. All right, we get a Working the Hunch. Hey, we'll play that for free to grab this clue. It's fast. OK. No attacks of opportunity. So we've got what we need. Um, uh, what do we have here? Um, we can't it. Actually, we need to do this in a different order. That's what we're. That's why we're having trouble here. Uh, so he stays put. Roland grabs the the, the apex strangleweed first because that's what we need to do. Uh, we are going six versus three for two damage. Chaos bag says auto fail. So the Strangleweed retaliates and hits us for a damage and a horror, uh, which the art student will take. Uh, and then after it makes an, it uh, wasn't an attack of opportunity, it was just an, a retaliate. So let's try it again, six versus three. There is that uh, Elder thing again, minus three, but we are ready for it this time, so we deal two damage. Oh, do we have a... All right, we have a Vicious Blow. We'll need to commit that next turn. We need to pay it. It's hard when you're playing two-handed on this to, to pay attention to who's got what cards. So we do deal two damage. Uh, so we can deal... One, two, three, four. Yeah, so we can kill it next turn. So we're going to take a damage and a horror from the Strangleweed. So now we'll play the Working the Hunch. Now we'll play the Working a Hunch to grab this clue. We have two actions remaining. Uh, we can play... I'm going to bring out the beat cop. And I'm going to draw a card. There's a shortcut. Uh, we have one more action. Uh, we're hitting for five. We could do a damage to the Strangleweed. Five versus three? 
Okay, let me see. Five versus three. Six versus three for two damage. Plus two from the beat cops. Yeah, we could do this. Okay, Joe. Here's your time to shine. Throws out a vicious blow. So we're going to go six versus four. Five. Six versus three. Uh, Roland's going to commit an overpower to go eight versus three. Chaos Bag says minus two. So... Uh, we hit the Strangleweed for two damage. And then we're gonna beat cop it. He should have two damage and he will discard to deal a damage. So the we defeat the Strangleweed. All right. And Roland draws a card. We get a vicious blow. All right, we killed the Strangleweed. Hey, small victories, small victories. Okay. They are done. They are not serpent enemies, so that's fine. Okay, so we go to the enemy phase. Nothing happens because we killed the Strangleweeds. Uh, Joe, Roland draws an emergency cash and Roland draws a short, or uh, Roland draws an emergency cash and Joe draws a shortcut. Okay, so I think we're set here. We can get a pillar here. If we can get through this phase. Let's go to the mythos phase. We advance. Hi, uh, Zin Wang. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying the videos. Uh, glad you could make the uh, stream today. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Okay. The lead investigator chooses one investigator to be the group's lookout. The investigator checks her supplies. If the lookout has binoculars, now I have binoculars. Who has the binoculars? Joe has the binoculars, so Roland chooses Joe to be the lookout. If the lookout has binoculars, he or she is able to see the creature approaching and avoid it with no ill effects. Aha, so the binoculars pay off. Okay, we just need to make it through this phase and then we can actually make some progress on this thing. We've got five turns. Roland's encounter card is Voices of the Jungle. We put it into play in our threat area. Uh, at the end of the turn, if you did not successfully explore, we take a horror or we can test Willpower 3 if we succeed. Discard Voice of the Jungle. Okay, and then... Joe's card is low on supplies. Uh, each investigator will take a damage. Okay, so that's the end of that. Now, how does this work? One. Okay, so I can get a pillar, so what I need to do is... Roll and go... Joe... Um, oops. Uh, let us... So we can advance the act deck. Let's do that. We spend four, four uh, clues. So we spawn the winged serpent. He is here at last. All right. The winged serpent has arrived. 
Um... Now we put this into play. Opening the maw. So now we can take the action to um, add a, a pillar. So we can go So what we'll do is we're going to... Sh uh, Joe has two shortcuts. So he'll play one shortcut uh, first, we need to get his magic card, which is a scene of the crime. No help there. We're going to shortcut once. We're going to shortcut Joe, or Roland. Then Joe is going to shortcut himself. to move over. Then he will move over and he will resign. So he is out of the game. Um, Roland has a shortcut on stick to the plan. He will pay, he will take the action to pay two clues to put a pillar on and then he will resign. So we've got force to is it after you enter who's one action oh right you are right Eric we have to deal with that okay let's take a step back for a second so we have to reveal so Joe and roll I'm getting Roland and Joe confused Roland has to make a so he drew an elder sign, so that, if you drew an elder, oh, this is one of the times that elder signs are bad. So he takes a horror, and then, so he does his thing, and Joe does his thing. He does not draw a thing, so he is fine, and everything proceeds as normal. So we get a we have two of the five, of the six now and we reset. All right, let's reset. Day 3. It's day 3 of who knows how many. So we bring back the mouth, but we have advanced the act deck, so we are, uh, we can now just grab clues and try to, uh, try to just pack as many of these stupid things as we can on, stupid pillars. Grab Roland's deck. So what is uh, what is everybody else out there playing while I uh, while I reset here? What are you guys uh, playing right now? Are you making your way through the Dream Eaters, or are you uh, a little further back and uh, doing other uh, scenarios? Still at the start of Circle Undone. Agius.
Yeah, that campaign has some good uh, some good stuff in it. I like the I really like the scenarios in the core box. So uh, I hope you uh, you will enjoy those for sure. Uh, what else do we have to do? Uh, set these guys up. Done that. We'll start Carcosa today. Awesome, Pedro. Carcosa is a great campaign. Often considered, I think, to be one of the best. I've played it a ton, and it is, uh, I never get tired of it. So, good stuff. Good luck in, uh, in that journey. It's a good one. Yeah, Excelsior is uh, is good too. Lots of different uh, lots of different ways that one can go. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, it's getting late here too. It's two a.m. So uh, I'm hoping I can finish this off sooner than later, or I may have to call it and finish it off another day. Okay, so let's draw opening hands. Oh, I need to go get. Pedro, or uh, not Pedro, Alejandro. Got uh, too many uh, Latin sounding names here. Let's throw Alejandro on the table. Ten in the morning. Oh, so you must be overseas, Agius. So we get Roland's 38 special. A Guts, another Guts, an Overpower, and a Machete. Uh, I like Roland's 38 Special. I'm going to keep the Machete just in case. Uh, there's a cover-up. That's not going to do us any good. Eureka, Logical Reasoning, and another Machete. Wow, gee whiz. Netherlands. I have a, uh, a cousin of mine lives in the Netherlands. I uh, visited her on the April of 2013, I believe it was. There was a big celebration for the king and the queen. Was it? Yeah, April 23rd, May, April or May of 2013. There was a huge celebration there for the for the uh, king and queen, and I just missed it by a day, but we did uh, manage to have a party uh, the night before I left. So. If I had known that the party was going to happen the next day, I would have definitely changed my uh, tickets. Uh, Detective Colt 1911. Ah, Portugal. My uh, wife and I are actually just talking about Portugal tonight. We were thinking about we're uh, we're trying to plan a summer vacation, and uh, Portugal was one of the uh, one of the destinations that we were uh, talking about. Uh, possibly visiting. An aunt of mine visited there, was it last summer? They visited Portugal and Spain, I think. So, uh, yeah, we will we will keep it in contention. It uh, sounds like a very uh, uh, a very interesting place to visit. Is there a large Arkham Horror LCG community in Portugal, or is it... Uh, not sure what to keep here. Um, I want different. Uh... All right. So we've got our opening hand, and we drew the death card. So that's nice. So we get an automatic bump in our intellect. All right. We are set up and ready to go. Now we've got the winged serpent in play. I need to go get. Do one more thing. Yeah, if we uh, whoops, if we uh, if we end up going somewhere, it will be in the summer. So, uh, whoops, I shuffled that into the wrong deck. That's not gonna work. Uh, there it is. There.
Well, that's great that there are helpful people. That's always uh, that's a huge plus when you're uh, when you're playing a game like this to have a, a community that uh, can help you out. All right, we've got two of six pillars. Let's see if we can't grab another one here. We have the Winged Serpent into play. It's got eight combat and five evade. Uh, it is alert, hunter, and massive. Cannot be defeated, cannot make attacks of opportunity. After a pillar token is placed on the mouth of Kinyan, exhaust the Winged Serpent. It does not ready during the upkeep phase of this round. So we will need to try to uh, we need to try to find um, that location and uh, grab these, uh, grab as many as we can, uh, grab as many clues as we can. Uh, I think we're gonna use. Uh, I think we've got the compass, so we're just gonna use this compass here. Let's use the compass. There's ants. There's a lost in the wilds. And there's a rope bridge. So ants is going to go on the bottom. Followed by lost in the wilds and the rope bridge. We're going to use it again. Uh, we need to grab his card. Uh, need to adjust all these again. I need to fix this for next time I stream. It's really annoying having to reset this every bloody time. There we go. Okay, so his card is going to be Preposterous Sketches, so we could draw three cards if we wanted to. Uh, we are going to use the compass again, so we get Rope Bridge. We know there's a Lost in the Wilds, and... River Canyon, so this goes on the bottom. Rope Bridge, River Canyon, we're gonna do it one more time. Compass, compass, come on, give us the location we need. There it is, okay, good. Uh, it is the Overgrown Ruins. Uh, it doesn't connect with uh, it does connect with the rope bridge. Okay, good. So the river canyon goes on the bottom, followed by rope bridge, and we put the rope bridge on top, and that goes there. Okay, so we found the location we need. Uh, this thing can't make attacks of opportunity, so we can actually get away from it. Uh, Joe can't, but uh, Roland can investigate. Alright, he can explore, sorry. So he will explore. And he finds the overgrown ruins, which has two clues. After you enter overgrown ruins and you are poisoned, lose all remaining actions and end your turn. That's pretty, uh, that sucks. So we just end up going to, I believe it's the enemy phase. So during the enemy phase, the winged serpent attacks. Uh, we need some that and that. So he takes a damage and a horror. And uh, Roland takes nothing. Okay, so, so far so good. Uh, mythos phase, we add a doom. And we draw encounter cards. Roland draws the poisonous spores. That's not good. Why do I have resources on there? Clues, clues, clues. Okay, and... Uh, 
Uh, Joe draws the creeping poison. Each investigator who is poisoned takes a damage. Yikes. And that surges into Voice of the Jungle. So he has to explore this turn or he takes a horror. All right. Now the problem is once he enters overgrown ruins, if you are poisoned, lose all remaining actions and end your turn. So he won't be able to explore this turn. So he's kind of stuck. So I think what we're going to do, Joe is just going to stay where he is. He gets a logical reasoning. Uh, we could play that and heal a horror. It's damage that we really need to deal with, though. Uh, what can we do? I think we're going to play the gun. So we'll play emergency cash to gain three resources. As our first action. Second action, we're going to play his gun. And third action, I think we're just going to draw a card. Get another shortcut. All right, uh, so that's that. Roland is going to explore. He's going to use his the action to explore. So we find the rope bridge. Uh, whoops! Gets to move to the rope bridge, right? Right. Okay. So when we attempt to explore at the rope bridge, we have to deal with uh, stuff. So we're going... I'm going to get a gun out, I think, before I go any further. Three. We'll get our gun out just in case. Uh, we get four ammo. So if we could grab these two clues, these two clues, that gives us two more, and then we just have to do it one more time, and we'd be okay. Um, he explored. Or no, it's Joe who has this, so he's going to take a horror. Uh, we need to... Ex uh, Roland needs to do some investigating, so I'm going to commit this Eureka... So we're going to go four versus two. Chaos Bag says minus two, so we do grab a clue. And we get to search the top three cards of our deck for a card. Uh, we can take a Pathfinder, an overpower or a logical reasoning. I'm going to take a Pathfinder. Uh, we're going to go... So that was one more action. So if we can grab this clue, grab these two clues, man, we could... We could, uh, we could get out of this pretty quickly. I probably... I might just end up calling it after this game because we'll... If we can get these up to four pillars, then it would be just, we just need two more. And then it's really just time. It's just the time that we would take to do this. And I might do that off stream, because that's, that's just, at this point, it just it's just time consuming. So we're going to go three versus two. Let's see if we can't grab this other clue. Uh, Chaos Bag says Elder Thing. That's going to be a, a horror for us, which we'll put on... Uh, Good old Alejandro. It's not an ancient location, is it? Ooh, he does give us a bonus while investigating here, so that's not bad. 
Uh, so that is going to be our turn. So during the enemy phase, uh, he takes uh, one horror, two horror, and a damage. So he is uh, in deep trouble. The spores will go away at the end of the round. During our upkeep, uh, Roland draws an overpower and Joe draws a Eureka. Uh, we will go to the Mythos phase. We add a Doom and Roland's card is a Snake. And Joe's card is a Pitfall. Uh, I think I'm going to just shuffle it back into the Explore deck because I'm not planning on exploring. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, if we can get away. If we can get away from this thing, we might actually be able to grab more than one. Uh, maybe three pillars this game. Okay. So we've got a snake to deal with and the jungle thing. Let's, I'm going to use uh, Joe's, we're going to use the compass. So we got a path of thorns, the pitfall, and the time racked woods. Okay, that's all right. Uh, if we put that on top, what is this one? Red? That doesn't help us. We can put that. Oh, I forgot those. Yeah, we need to. I need to redo this because all these cards should be in the deck as well. Let's try this again. There's a Serpent's ca Serpent's Haven, the Pitfall, and uh, so none of these work for us. So we'll put that on the bottom. Actually, we'll put that on the bottom and these on the top. Uh, then we're going to move away. Uh, do we have movement cards? We do. Okay. Um, we'll use those to go back. Because this guy's... The uh, serpent's going to move to the overgrown ruins next turn. So we can get away from him. We can stay away from him. Uh, Roland's turn. He is going to... Uh, we need to deal with this snake first. Uh, we needed to see what Joe's hunch card is. Uh, had no effect. It was a scene of the crime, so it didn't matter. Okay, so Roland can grab this clue. Uh, do we have any ways to cheat clues? Because five, five is pretty high. Oh, no, 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 no. That's right. Okay, so we had two actions. He used one to move to Overgrow and Ruins. He's poisoned, so he has to use... We lose this action, so we play a shortcut so he can actually get to the rope bridge. There we go. Now we're doing it right. Okay, uh, Roland wants to investigate... But I think we're just going to go... Oh, no, he's got the snake to deal with. Right, we're dealing with the snake. So he is four... Uh, seven versus three. Let's spend an overpower. Chaos bag gives us a zero. So we kill the snake. Add that to the victory display. 
Uh, we will we draw a card. Get another logical reasoning. Lots of logical reasonings, but uh, I would need more clue clue gathering stuff. Uh, let's investigate. He's going to go f three versus two, but we can commit this Eureka to go. Joe can commit a Eureka so he can go four versus two. Chaos Bag says Skull, that is a minus one. So we do grab this clue. So there's a pillar. We have a pillar. Um, so we're going to have to enter this ruin and we get to search. Um, Joe Roland gets to search for the Eureka. So let's look at the top three. Uh, we get an art student. That's good. So we can grab a clue here. We can cheat a clue. Now, I'd rather lose all my actions now. So we're going to go here and lose all our actions because we're poisoned. And that will be that. Uh, he is going to take a horror. Oh, we should deal some. We should deal with that. Uh, we're going to have to deal with that next turn, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so during the enemy phase, the massive winged serpent moves in and deals a damage and a horror to Joe, or to Roland, sorry. So he'll take the damage and he'll take the horror. Roland will take the horror. During the upkeep phase, Joe gets to take the initiative, and uh, Roland gets his beat cop. We go to the mythos phase. Three of five doom. Roland gets a snake bite. Um, test three versus two. Chaos bag says plus one. Hey, look, hey, we passed a snake bite, everybody. Roland passed a snake bite. Unbelievable. You rock, Roland. City boy didn't step on a snake. And Joe gets a Lost in the Wilds. Test three willpower. If you fail, take one horror for each point you fail by and add Lost in the Wilds to your threat area. You cannot move or explore. At the end of your turn, discard lost in the wild. So let's commit that take the initiative uh, to that. So we're going to go five versus three. Uh, yes, five versus three. Chaos bag says minus two, so we pass. Uh, so we do not, we can move. Okay. Uh, we need to get those two clues somehow. How are we going to do that? He needs to get rid of this thing. those two clues and I need to get rid of this thing. I 
Let's see what our uh, our magic card is here. Our hunch is a scene of the crime. Unfortunately, that doesn't help us. Because as soon as we move into the overgrown ruins, we can't play it. Well, that sucks. Um, God, this voice of the jungle is really hurting us here. Um... Okay, I think what we've got to do uh, we need to heal some horror on uh oh, I know what we could do Because as soon as we, yeah, okay, uh, what we could do, as soon as we heal, as soon as we trigger the pillar, uh, this guy gets exhausted and he doesn't ready. So, Roland... can play a shortcut or does he need to play a shortcut yet we move we don't take an attack of opportunity we trigger the pillar because we've got two clues so we spend the two clues to trigger the pillar this guy gets exhausted then we move back Okay, that helps. And then... Uh, we gotta go... So he is going to... move in there he'll lose all his actions and then at the end of the turn he takes a horror so he's running the risk here okay so then this guy doesn't ready during the upkeep phase So he's locked. Okay, good. Uh, looks like Roland drew an overpower and he has to discard a card, so we'll discard the, ma the machete. And Joe drew a take the initiative. Okay, so if we can get through this turn, we might be okay. Roland draws a viper, and Joe draws a pitfall. He's going to shuffle that in to the exploration deck so we don't have to deal with it. Okay, uh, let's check what... Uh, 
Okay, so what we can do now, we can get rid of... We need to grab these two clues and set another pillar. Um, how are we going to do that? He's investigating with a 5 versus 5. I think what we do is... Um, we're going to try to get rid of this voice of the jungle first. So we're going two, three, four, five, six, seven versus three. Chaos bag says zero, so we get rid of it. We get rid of the voice of the jungle. Uh, he went first, so we have to draw his thing. So working the hunch. Okay, that's good. So working the hunch. That was his that was Joe's first action. Working the hunch, we play it for free to grab a clue. Uh yes, two actions left. Now, how does this action work? as a group. Okay, so it doesn't matter who has the clues. Okay, and so he's going to kill the so Roland will kill the snake, drop the art student, shortcut over Place the pillar, and we're good to go. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to draw a card with Joe. Oh, there's our weakness, Haunted. We get minus one to each of our skills. That's fine. Draw another card, we get a magnifying glass. Okay. Roland's going to kill the snake. Three, four, five, six versus three. We're going to use an overpower to go eight versus three. Chaos Bag gives us a Elder Thing. That's a minus three, but we pass. Snake is dead. And we're going to try to grab this clue. We're going to play the art student to grab this clue for free. We're going to play shortcut to move over to the mouth. And then we're going to use, uh, we're going to spend two clues as a group to place a pillar. Or do we want to do that? Uh, no, I don't think we want to do that quite yet. Uh, I'm going to take that back because I want to heal, I want to heal uh, him first. Uh, so he will have one action. So I'm going to use logical reasoning uh, to heal two horror on him. And that'll be the turn. So this guy will ready this turn. Uh, we go to enemy phase, nothing happens. I get a calling in favors for Roland and an inquiring mind for Joe. We go to the mythos phase. Five of five. Again, we have Joe as the lookout, so this doesn't matter. And 
So we just need to draw in counter cards. Uh, Roland draws the boa. And Joe draws the lost low on supplies. So I, everybody takes a damage loses or loses two resources. Uh, we'll lose two resources. And that's that. Okay, so we need to deal with the boa. Actually, we don't need to deal with the boa because what we can do... Um, Joe can simply move, spend the clues as a group like we did to add a pillar. This guy exhausts. He resigns. Uh, Roland plays shortcut to move. And then he resigns. Okay. So we've got four pillars out of uh, out of the six. It is uh, 2.30 in the morning here. I think I am going to call it there. Uh, at this point, it's just a matter of uh, we need to get two more pillars, and then uh, we should be able, we would be, we be finished this uh, awful scenario. Uh, at that point, we can just basically mulligan until we get the cards we want in our hands and whatnot, and uh, we can start the scenario, see what's in our hands. If we like our hand, we can play. If not, we don't have to play. Um, yeah, so I am going to call it here. Uh, it is 2.30. I'm going to call it. And uh, I will probably finish this off stream. I will see how we do, uh, whether we, can, we can't just get those two, uh, those two pillars without uh, anybody dying. But so far, so good. Uh, we've managed to, uh, we, we got past the first tricky part, and now we, we stacked up two pillars. Uh, it only took us three days to do it, so I think one more day uh, we would be able to uh, finish off this scenario and uh, head over, head on to uh, City of Archives, or no, Heart of the Elders Part 2. So... Uh, that will do it for this stream. Thank you very much, everyone, for uh, joining me tonight. It was an impromptu stream. Haven't streamed in a while. Glad to uh, to get back at it. Thank you, everyone, who showed up uh, in the stream uh, today. It was uh, fantastic to, uh, to hear from you. Uh, good luck to all of you with whatever campaigns you are kicking off, whether it's uh, Circle Undone, Path to Carcosa, maybe you're new to the game, you just picked up the Dunwich Legacy, uh, good luck with that. Uh, if you are in Dream Eaters, um, good luck. We've got uh, Dark Side of the Moon coming out next week, so uh, looking forward to that. I will be back. If you haven't had a chance to check out my uh, stream or my playthrough of uh, Beyond the Gates of Sleep, that went up this evening. And uh, thank you very much, Ramon. And uh, there, if you are a Patreon supporter, there is a video uh, up there just for you guys. Uh, my uh, my Patreon post game show, so check that out. Uh, hopefully, I'm really hoping I'll be able to finish this off with just one more one more day in the jungle, and uh, then we can move on to more interesting scenarios. And so, uh, I will play this off stream, see how we do. So, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, it has. Uh, it was a, an interesting experience. We we had a pretty rough go the first day in the jungle, and then we managed to uh, to get things uh, turned around in the uh, next two days. So that will uh, we will see how we do on the final day. And uh, stay tuned for more streams, more Arkham Horror LCG content headed your way. That's going to do it for this stream. If you enjoyed it, uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Head over to uh, Patreon if you want to become a, a supporter of the channel and uh, get yourself uh, in on Patreon only, uh, patron only content. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromlang. 
Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there, and happy investigating.